Pet. Helps if I add myself to the stream. That was pretty stupid. Anyway. What is up, Danny boy? Are you working today? Okay. Share screen. Share the entire screen. What's up, local host? Yeah, this is actually late. I'm just I'm I'm just doing this nightmare. Uh, this here nightmare. <laughs> There's a way, I think, full screen. There we go. All right. Let's get back to transferring. Here is my old one. Here is my new one. <laughs> Does it sound like a nursery rhyme? The reason that that seems low, three ninety five. For some reason I would say it was three ninety seven. I don't remember. Do I have it here? Did I ever save it? Uh, let's see. This should actually have it right here because this I did it with the duet. Uh, that was the stock. Oh, where's the old duet? Duet motor testing. PIP tune in. There we go. Drives, drives, drives. 420. That's their stock. I know I downsized it from there. I'll reset it later. Default max speed rate acceleration. For some reason that seems too low. And if we get a thousand. Uh, this should be like a hundred. I need my glasses to even see what the hell you guys are saying. That's the only problem that's going to happen. What's up, Vince? Does anybody want to jump in? Because I'm just dicking around. Six three ninety five, six six ten fifty, one thousand one thousand one hundred, and this should be ten thousand, which is it really doesn't need to be that much for the extruder. Default acceleration, 700, 1,000, 1,000. 
Ah, find classic jerk. We're going to set these, even though I'm not going to use it right now. Z-probe options I don't care about until I actually have something to run. Normal rack and pinning probe. Nozzle to probe offset, probe margins. Clearance. Stepper drivers. Let's go all the way down to that. We are at line like 1,000 something. Those are proof offset. Clear display. Let's see. Enable probing meter off. Name on. Disable fault, faults, faults. Faults, true, faults. These two need to be switched. True. True. Uh, it was in one bed size, 300. The offset is negative ten, negative fifteen, and the one no one ever uses and they should zero point one four. This should is three hundred. It's actually bigger than that, and I should actually measure that sometime. How big I can drop that thing. I never did drop it all the way to the bottom and measure it. <laughs> you know, I can get a closer idea just by taking a tape measure and looking. Let's see, that's where it'll hit. That's saying about 370. It's 400. Uh, it won't make it that far. But 350, 360, I should easily be able to do it. So let's be safe and do 350. Uh, what are my plans for today? Very little. It's pouring out. It's like all yucky. We're actually supposed to get our first snow tonight. It's going to rain all day and then turn to snow tonight. Not that I'll get snow. Being here, I'm being too close to the water. It might actually snow, but nothing will stick or anything. It never does. It's too warm out. It's 50 degrees out right you now. I still got my window open. <laughs> Bed leveling, I don't care about. Uh, but there is something in here I think I need to turn on. Unified bed leveling. Mesh, don't care about any of that. Additional features. Mesh. Additional features. Here we go. Uh, I actually got to turn on EPROM, don't I? This one. Everything else, I think, stays, right? Uh. 
This thing jumps too much. Video problem, chit chat, boot silent, host thing. I don't know where all this is. Define temperature unit to support. Uh, PLA. I want this at 50. I want this at 70. I want this at 230. And I want it to say PETG. Uh, I really could. Yeah, 180 is fine. Nozzle park feature. Where is that? Enable nozzle park feature. Now, this is what I'm having problems with. Uh, let's look over here. Flashlight telling me. I gotta go turn everything on. I'm not on Windows or Linux, I'm on a Mac. There is something similar. It doesn't work very well. The problem I've found is um, they add stuff. Like right now, I'm at 1526, and over here, it's 1533. And if they don't match exactly, it doesn't work well. So I stopped using those. I had one. It didn't. It, it screwed things up more than anything else. I always wondered about this stupid print counter. LCD SD support. Let's get into that. I'm almost done anyways. I was wondering, should we be changing this? Everyone just leaves it on Japanese, but shouldn't it actually be Western? stuck in SD card net thing since I don't know when speaker buzzer define speaker define individual access homing yes I want individual access homing uh, do I want to reverse the direction I think I do Actually, I think they straightened it already. They actually spun it. Uh, rip wrap discount monitor uh, LCD. I should change that to Western, shouldn't I? I'm going to just for the giggles of it. I don't think I've ever done it, but I think I'm going to. I don't think it really makes any difference. <sighs> doo -doo 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 -doo.
and an old tower happened. Where are these highlighted anymore? Where the hell am I? I'll see the right here. Did I change something over here? Because that was there, wasn't it? <laughs> this is the original. I got anything else I got to do in here. No touch screen. <sighs> Not doing the hand thing, the fan thing yet. I might do that later. And that's the end. Other controllers, extra features. A softer PWM, increase the PWM, blah, blah, blah. Enable support. All right, save, save, let's go to configuration advanced. Well, uh, let's see, 2.6. Arlen, configuration advanced. All the way up to the top. All the way up to the top. Uh, configuration advanced versions. Can leave all that thermal settings. I don't think there's much in here I need to change. Uh, There is one thing. Oh, uh, let's see the watch temperature period thing. Thermal protection. Thermal protection hot end seconds. I want to change this to 60 so it doesn't sit there. And I want to change this one to 60, right? Yep. Bed protection. This is also at 60. This also at 60, even though I don't have a heated chamber. Chamber, heated chamber.
Is that old or new? That's old. Enable PID tuning. I'm just looking to see if I need to add anything. What's up, Ben? Uh, what's up, Robbie, man? What else is in here? Looks like that's it for now. Automatic temperature mode. Let's see. I think I'm way ahead of myself here. Am I way behind myself here? Where am I? There we go. Everything's the same. Still running run out. Wrenching. I gotta go way down here to somewhere. Don't care about any of that. Do steppers, don't care. Uh, there's something else I need to play with here and I can't remember. Only bump. Touch crap. Let's see. Auto aligners. No trimming. Backlash, micro stepping is 16. I'm going to leave it at 16. I should kick it up to 32 just for giggles and see if it smooths it out. But I'm not going to write it yet. Additional features. I do have um, there's the whole uh, thumb drive, I just don't care. No transformers. Nope, don't care. Show hospitals for graphics displays. None of that stuff matters. It's the uh, deep bounce, baby stepping. Let's see, I'm down to like 15, 1600. Uh, baby stepping. I've never used baby stepping, but I should because it doesn't hurt to have it. Ah, uh, linear pressure control. For now, I'm going to leave all that stuff to their default. Don't care about probing margins. There are more probe compensation. 
Arc support, don't care. All that probing, minimal stepper pulse, buffers. Firmware retraction, I'm not going to play with that yet. Uh, don't have multiple extrusions. I do want to turn on advanced pause feature. This is a 2055 on this one. So there's about 40 extra lines in the new code. Now, this is not working currently. But there's no change. It works just fine on the pump. Oh, but it doesn't work on here. What's up, everybody? I am uh, updating to Marlin firmware 2.07 from 2.06. Because of this right here, actually, this is my only real problem anymore, is this advanced pause feature crap. Right now, if I do it on the uh, Pumpkin King, I hit change filament, it heats up, it pushes a little bit of filament and then retracts it, sits there and waits, says install new for, uh, filament, sucks it in, you hit the button, it extrudes like 50 millimeters, asks you if you're all set. On this thing, it heats up and then just goes back to the main screen. Never and never let you eject or install new filament. And I have it turned on everywhere as far as I know. Everything matches. And I compared this to the the uh, Pumpkin King, which is working. So it's a SKR thing. Or. That's the other thing I can't do for some reason. I can't get it to do the uh, 2209s in UR mode. And I'm sure it's something like right here that I need to turn on. But this is only for the 2208s. Not 2209s. If I set it in the configuration H, it... Uh, It just gives me a TH, uh, TMC communications error. So there's something I need to turn on in here for the 2209s. I'm going to set these anyways, though. So. Uh, where are they? 800, 800, 800. I guess I didn't set them. I thought I'd set them. I said it did it. I guess I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. Yes, yes, I did. Let me just keep the Z up. 
because the single motor driving my whole Z. Not too worried about that right now. I don't see any that say 22 minutes. TNC can be used. Of course, they're a part with hardware to actually see. I don't understand any of this. I have a feeling this right here is what I need to do to use them in UART. What's up, Mr. Warcocky? That's not what I want. You want to jump in here? Yeah, this is for the SKR. I think I'm all set. I don't think there's anything else I have to do. <sighs> Filament with sensors. Power monitors. CT code. Uh, uh, entry calibrations, joysticks, which I don't care about. Nano sync support, Wi Fi support. We hit the bottom of this thing yet. Cruise the MMU. And that's it. Let's see if it'll freaking compile. What do I have a feeling I'm going to get an error somewhere? Building. And building. And building. And building. Where's my air? It's got to be at least one. <laughs> God, if this compiles the first time without an error, I'll be really, really amazed. What is up, Mr. Brian Fines? No, the error is not in the code. The error is in me. <laughs> I am the error.
to error to err is llama. That's correct. It's not even error. It's just to err. <laughs> I'm an err. I am an err. Llama err. <laughs> Hey, look, I can see out my glasses now. Uh, holy crap, I haven't got an error yet. Just jinked myself, didn't I? It's compiling very, very slowly, too. I keep forgetting it's very slow when I'm streaming. Uh, yeah, it's 2.07 something. I think it is too. Which I'm answering Ben's question from like five minutes ago, ten minutes ago. <sighs> and I have a feeling it's not going to fix my problem, but you know. What is up, everybody? Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Games. I never did do the games. They only work if you're using like a touch screeny color thing, right? What day is it? Thursday. It's Thursday. I might have to go get some coffee. I got cold coffee here. My nose is all stuffy. My head is a little better than it was yesterday, but still kind of swimmy. Got some gunkies in my throat. <sighs> work in the garage, work in the garage, work in the garage. That's what you need to do, Dan. You need to get that damn garage done. <laughs> If you were just a little bit closer, just a little bit, I just drive down and start doing it for you. See, buy the materials, we'll just make it work. <laughs> but you're a little too far away. Get out of that house. Holy crap. That succeeded. Okay. Let's make this go away. This can now go away. We need to make all of these go away temporarily because it leads to question which one to write to. And it just makes my life easier. It'll still work, but it's easier to just delete them. I'll stick that one in. And then tell it to boot it up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Coffee burps. Success. And let's put it over there. Let's take a card. Let's stick it in this here hole that I didn't really make the right spot on this case, but it's close enough that I know what I'm doing. And let's uh, put up a printer. Let's see what it does. T. 
2.07. EEPROM error. Initialize EEPROM. Reset. I have nothing in the EEPROM anyway, so it doesn't matter. So here's the question, the one I really want to know. Will this thing let me change filament? So, change filament, preheat pill LA. Nozzle heating, please wait. This might work, because it used to say print paused, heat, Then it would always say print pause. Then it would say nozzle preheating or reheating or something. And then it would actually go into thermal runaway because it wouldn't expect it to have to heat that much. So I have a feeling this might have fixed it. And it's heating, and it's heating, and it's heating. Da, 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 da. Or is it just going to go to... You guys can't see the screen. Cable's in the way. One of these days I'm actually going to move the screen over to the front and actually move the whole thing over. Spin it around in the right direction. <laughs> Buddy, come on, baby. We're at 150 degrees. 30 more to go. The other thing I want to do is they were talking, uh, what's up, Andrew? <clears throat> You posted for me? Why are you posting for me? Come on, puppy. Don't just go to the freaking main menu again. 178. 179. 180. Wait for filament unload. Yes, it's going to work now. Insert filament. Yeah, baby. Wait for filament purge. It's got a new tone. It used to make weirder beeps. I like the new beep, burp, beep, burp. It used to just go beep, 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 beep. Yeah. It's working now. I did something right. Purge more or continue. Continue. And we are done. Temperature. Nozzle. Yeah, and they auto reverse the menus, I noticed. I was going to reverse the windows. Yeah, because I'm using the i When I was doing that, I was using my iPad for watching the stream. So these are actually attached to the iPad. And a successful mama now. I succeeded in something. I need to stop for the day. <laughs> I can't do anything else because that succeeded, and if I do anything else, it won't succeed.
I need to print a bunch of stuff in the next week. Benchies and things. Llama Core updated. What the hell is the R E A? I don't know. Let's go back into uh, this thing and rename it and do it again just for the fun of it. What do I have a name here? Author, official boot screen, serial port, board, llama core updated. Oh, ready. That's what it is. Uh, I can get rid of the updated. Delete. Mm -hmm. I might as well do that now. Come on, you. I always rename it so I know it uh it actually loaded. Upload. It's gonna take a while now because it's gotta recompile the whole thing just because I changed the name, huh? Oh boy, so you said you did something, uh, oh wow, wet, ah, I changed it, did you guys see that, it was like a llama, <laughs> look at all this junk I got, four whole important things, tagged you in Mention you, Nina. She's a voodoo doll. Check it out. Uh, everything else I don't care about. Oh, sculptress. Google's made in Blender, modified in Sculptress. Check it out. That's pretty cool. Oh, you just posted my thing. I got you. Let's see what's going on in Twitterville. In the twits. Is that thing still compiling? It is. Just to change the name. Uh, dye coloring clear resins. Uh, um, Terry did really good at it, but someone else did it before him. Actually, was doing more stuff. Oh, look, I got notifications. Ah, uh, oh, thanks. Anyway, another day, another Benchy. Let's pick on Chris. Uh, 
All right, done picking on Chris. Almost closed the whole window and ejected myself out like I normally do. Uh, yeah, I saw that toilet paper all there. I thought it was pretty cool, except for I got an even easier one. It's just like an L-shaped metal rod coming out of the wall, and you just slide it on there, and you slide it off. I don't need the whole... That and that thing won't hold the, the like quadruple stuffed rolls. And did it actually upload or did I? Firmware has been successfully uploaded. So I can pull the disk. Eject. Pull the card, stick the card in here very carefully, and then turn the printer back on. And the name should have changed. And of course, the pie's overriding it. <laughs> Let's turn the pie off. Restart the printer. Just to make sure. Well, I'm a corn ready. Yep. And we are done for now. Well, that took less than an hour. Benji, the Llama Corps printed this last night, and it uh, came out pretty good. And all I did was switch it back to a 0.4 nozzle. I have a feeling my 0.8 nozzle was giving me most of my problems. I don't think the heater in uh, the stock heaters are ballsy enough for point eight nozzle. I mean, I, I could print with it. I could do vase mode. It does did vase mode beautifully. Where cocky is sus. Sus cocky. See, he's got his knife in his backpack. He is sus. He's got a little hat and his beard and his headphones. You know what I do want to do? Let's 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 freak my computer out or my uh, printer out. Uh, Level core. I want to actually see how low I can go. What's my exact... Oh, I turned off the pie. That's why it's not connecting. It won't connect if it ain't on. Close-up of what? 3D printers are static background props. Yes. <sighs> Let's um why isn't the pie taking over yet? It should have by now. That's weird. It usually starts there. This starts up way faster than uh control home Z it's Gooby, but it shouldn't matter. Move one hundred. Let's see just how low it will go. I 
We're going to find a way to switch this too. I have to hit the up button to make it go down. I want it to go down to go down. Because it thinks it's making the head go up when it's actually the bed going down. We're at 200. Why does that seem like it's way beyond 200? I mean, that looks way beyond 200, don't it? <laughs> that looks like, like 250 ish. Nope, right on. Maybe I can't do 300. Let's do it in 50s. I have a feeling my wheels are going to hit. Although I got clearance there. It'll just slip by. And that one won't because it's got the... Did I do it on both? Yeah. Why did I do those on the inside? That was stupid. So we're at 250. Yeah, we can go another 50. I know I can. All right. What do I have left before I bottom out on anything? Probably not much. About another 30. We actually have 40, but I want to leave myself 10. Pull it off of here. And it's about 40. So I really should change that. So my max height is uh, um, open project. Why are you freaking out on me? Streaming at the same time. Desktop. Llama Core firmware. Llama Core 2.07. Open. I'm going to max it out at 325. somewhere Z probe Let's blow all the probing crap I made it 350 let's make it 325 it's awesome I'm not gonna upload it now but it should go bigger than that Oh, that's because of the, the yeah. The thing is I designed it to be four hundred. But then I put the Hamera plate on there and the Hamera hangs down about fifty. Benchy. I did a benchy. See here's a benchy. Benchy. That came out pretty damn good. There's a little bit of cooling issues on the news of it. And uh, that's about it. There's almost no stringing. I mean, look at the steering wheel. Come on, focus. I know you can. Got to hide my face. Oh, 
not wanting to focus, but it looks good. It's not perfect, but it's damn good, considering it's almost as good as my Max Micron was doing. And that thing was just, that thing was awesome. The other thing I want to figure out is, uh, um, uh, yeah, PID tuning the bed. Because right now, if I PID tune the bed, I'll check it out. <laughs> oh, you guys gotta see this. <sighs> ah, it's a llama. <laughs> with, his, with his spectacles winking at us. Um, oh, not the pumpkin llama cord, dumbass. And controls and motion and homesy. Let's just homesy and bring it back up. What's up, Mr. Joe Paddock? Might be able to speed that up. Um, PID tuning the bed. I've been reading, and then uh, Mr. Um, Marlin himself, what the hell is his name? Uh, um, everyone else started streaming, and Buttram felt that our work here was done. Yeah, but that's no fun. Buttram's a good streamer, dude. Uh, PID tuning the bed can smooth out some of your prints because supposedly when you got a bang bang um what was i thinking if it's on bang bang boom boom bang bang bam bam whatever um it kicks on and it draws a buttload of power all at once and it can like stutter your board particularly like the eight bits so, they say going to PID to bed can smooth it out. Mr. Um, Scott Latina, Latifa, whatever his name is, was suggesting it. The problem is, is if you're not using a blind voltage bed, 12 volt, it goes into thermal runaway because as it ramps up, it gets right to that last like five and it starts downgrading its its power juice going to the bed. So it all of a sudden takes longer to heat up than the um, um, thermal runaway switch tells it. And I set the thermal runaway ridiculously high. I think it had like two degrees and like three minutes or something I think I put it at and it still did it because it'll heat right up like if I set it for 60 it'll heat right up to 50 like normal but then it'll slow down so like the last two degrees it won't heat up you know I mean it's heating up it's just doing a lot slower because it's in PID tune so it needs to it it needs to not be in PID during heat up, but then once it's hot, it can go into PID mode. Does that make sense? Well, hop in here, Mr. Paddock. The right one. You haven't been on stream in a while. Come hang out. It's kind of cold. I might have to shut the window. It's not even that cold while it's 48 degrees out. It's only 65 in here. 
Might have to heat up the bed just to heat up the room. <laughs> Might have to print something. Burn through the last of that uh, transition yellow weird color. Listening to a conference call. You mean ignoring a conference call, watching her stream. What's up, Michael? So, anyway, I think I'm going to kill it now that I got the whole thing out and working. I got to pull out the bed PID tool thing because I'd much rather do that on this printer. I got to talk to Mr. Scott or one of the Marlin super wizards and see if there's a way to bypass the PID for the initial heat up. Uh, anyway, it's uh, unless somebody's gonna jump in here, it's like 10 30, and I'm gonna get off here because I'm bored. I got some yellow filament in there. What can I print with yellow filament? It's like a yellow army transition mud color. And the camera's actually printing it pretty eager, printing it, displaying it pretty accurately. It's kind of a muddy green yellow with stripes of black in it. Okay. This looks like it's got layer lines right here. Those aren't layer lines, those are just color changes. This, it's cheap um, transition. Just brand new PIE sheet. As you can see, I didn't have it quite right. Dirty marks. Fingerprints. That's what happened. Look, you can actually see it. You can, you can get a reverse fingerprint. See that? That's my fingerprint on the PID sheet. That's where it didn't stick. <laughs> PID. Um, what am I saying? PID. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm pack. Not packs. Uh, whatever the hell that thing is. My brain's lost. But anyway, well, I think I'm gonna go make coffee and uh, have a. Maybe have breakfast, even though it's already 10 30 and lunch is going to be soon. Yeah, let's hold off for lunch. Anyway, I'm off. Later, guys. It's been fun. It's been real.